50 in the suburbs. Miami Township has seen a lot of growth over the last few years, but protection services unfortunately haven't been able to keep up. WLWT News 5's Kyla Woods takes a look at the new fire station that's going to help reduce response times to emergency calls. The occupants and employees of the recently expanded fire department in Miami Township are settling nicely into their new home. So it's pretty tight, but it's temporary. It's serving a purpose and it's serving a good purpose as we move forward. Driving along Route 131, it might be hard to spot their newest location, tucked behind a retail strip in what almost looks like a garage. But beyond the exterior, what's being done on the inside of this fully operational fire station is what really matters. So for us being out here on this side of town, we've been able to shave down some of that response time a little bit and improve our, our handling times as well as getting out the door a little bit quicker and over to the residents of this side of town. With more and more commercial and residential developments here, Chief Kelly said they wanted to increase manpower in order to decrease the all-important call times. The American Heart Association will tell you that for every minute that somebody's not breathing, not having CPR done, or not getting an AED put on them, their chance of survivability decreases by 10 percent. The addition of Station 29 takes them from three fire stations to four in Miami Township, Claremont County. It's also worth noting that many residents in the older suburbs have lived there for decades, which also increases the potential for emergency calls. Residents can expect the same quality of service out of this temporary home as they'll find in the permanent one next door. Groundbreaking for that facility is expected to be this year. In Milford, Kyla Woods, WLWT News 5. There are uh, at least three firefighters at the news station 24-7. The department also plans to add two new full-time positions.